Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome back to Robertson's Belly Acres. Waka waka. You guys, it, this is a different kind of video. We're not going to be up and about, but we have some really, really exciting news. To yes, we have some life-changing information to share. Yes. So we had a company reach out to us that offered to change the way we do things here on the homestead, and it definitely has done that. So it's Nomad Internet. You guys, this has been so amazing. Yes. Uh, we've had this uh, product for about a week, and we have been using it for a week because we wanted to give you guys an honest, true review yes. of Nomad Internet. Yes, and we have companies reach out to us to do reviews, and we will use the product before we give a video on it. If it's not something that we would use, or even better, if it's not something we think that it, by us endorsing it, you would use and enjoy it. We're not going to put a video out on it. So, yeah. so we did want to go ahead and use it and and see what it was, you know, see if it 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 lived up to the hype. Yes, this little critter right here is the Nomad modem. Uh, you can see it's not very big. I'm gonna say that's what six inches. Sure. Okay. Nice little modem there. This is the travel kit, which means they built this one for people on the go. Yes. This big old block right here is our battery pack. And it is at 81% charged. It came to us like that. They had it charged up. Now, the tip does say to go ahead when you receive this, uh, run the battery completely to zero and then recharge it to 100. And that resets the battery. Um, you know, so that you can uh, make good use of the battery life. Yes. So there it says Nomad. So on the top of here, on the top of the battery bank, it also has three USB ports and then various uh, ports over here for different uh, phones. It's got a USB-C, it has a flash drive, it has, you know, different, um, three different types there. Yes. You can see that. So that is cool beans. So we're going to jump right in here, you guys. They send a cool a power cord specifically for the battery bank to the modem. It shows on here two power and two modem. I'll take the power side if you want to take the modem side. All right. So, so we're going to plug this right in here to the power. Okay. And then if you guys will look right here, there's a little light here. I'm going to just... There's a port in the back for the power. I'm going to plug that in. And, and it takes a few seconds light. for the light to come on to show that it has power. Oh, there's the red light shows it has power. Now we're waiting for the green light to say it has signal and then blue light to show that it has internet. Yes. It, this is powered, uh, or not powered, but gives you internet via the uh, cell towers. It is a SIM card operated device. As you can see back there on the back, it does have a, a SIM card in it. Just because it has a SIM card does not mean There's the green, guys. that you have to have cell signal for this. Where you don't have cell signal, you will have uh, a Wi-Fi capabilities. We have taken this to spots where we know there is and no cell phone. Blue. So that means we have internet. Awesome. That's the whole installation. That's what's Yes, crazy. that's how hard it is to set up. They send you a little card. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's okay. That is right here that shows Nomad Wi-Fi password and your name, Wi-Fi name. That comes with it. Yes. And so you were saying we've taken uh, it out. Yes, we've taken it out to places where we don't have cell signal. Plug this in, let it come up. We had Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's it's phenomenal. So, I'm going to show you guys real quick right here. If you look right here, I'm connected to data and Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and shut off my data. And I'll go ahead and shut off my Wi-Fi and show you guys uh, bringing that back up. Because it automatically connects to this. Because, like I said, we've been using it for a a while but see if you look right if you look right there 
Uh, it's got uh, Wi-Fi. Um, <clears throat> so I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. Guys, look in that corner. There is. Um, Hold it up there. Okay. All right. So let's just go in here. We'll go straight to YouTube. And it Boom. is up. So there's YouTube. Um, you know, hey, Junk to Gems. Hey, Gary and Mary. So, so it's super fast uh, yes. bringing up internet. And we have already, we uploaded a video kind of showing that. Yes. Uh, normally with our old Wi-Fi that we have been using, it is, takes anywhere from 45 minutes to 8 to 12 hours to upload a video, a 20 minute video to YouTube. Uh, we've got a clip we'll put in here now that shows us utilizing this and how quickly uploaded a video. Yes. And, uh, like Rusty said, anywhere, you know, it's eight to 12 hours to upload a video. Uh, what the way we were having to do it before is we would shoot the footage and then, uh, we would have to edit it and then it would have to upload overnight. And that yes. wasn't even guaranteed. And that was with um, home internet, the home internet that we can get here because we are yes. kind of out in the boonies. Notice the time is 1023 AM. So we will be back. Okay, you guys, you see it is 11.02. At 11.01, we finished processing. That video is up. So we started at 10.23 to 11.01. So that's 37 minutes, 38 minutes to upload that video, to okay. upload it. 35 minutes. And the cool thing is, is now, I mean, I can go in and put the thumbnail and the description and it's ready to rock and roll. So, I mean, this, this is game changer for us. Yes, this is a big game changer for us. This way we can get videos uploaded. And again, like I said, we can connect to the Wi-Fi. This is the travel, Nomad travel kit, and we can take it with us. Yep. We just make sure we're hooked to the battery pack before we start uploading. We put it in the backpack and we roll out. Yes, this does come with a another charger. This is a USB-C type charger for charging the power box. It has a yet another different type of charger cord so you can hook it up differently and it has your home cord that plugs into your one regular 110 outlet and to the back of the modem this is uh, what we've been using this is what we've been using mm -hmm. uh, but all these cords come with it that way you can take it with you the cool part is too guys you decide hey i'm going camping we're going on a road trip we need to make sure we have wi-fi all that packs easily into this heavy duty bag uh Everything fits, it carries it, it protects it. It's got storage compartments for all your cables and cords. And Rachel pointed out to me, it's a heavy duty canvas bag. So it's not gonna be one that you have to worry about tearing up real easy. Yep, and then it's a cross strap. So uh, that makes for a really easy carrying uh, cross body strap uh, or just throwing it over your shoulder. But uh, you know, I gotta show the bag value of it, right? <laughs> That's my position, right? Oh, <laughs> you know, like you can carry it like this. It is a neutral color, so it will, it will, you know, go with just about anything. <laughs> uh, Rusty did point out uh, to me also that this is great for in an emergency. Um, you know, uh, we will keep everything in the bag other than the modem because we are using this as our home internet now because it's so amazing we've we've replaced our home internet with this yes. um but if you know if there's an emergency that we have to go to shelter or we have to evacuate all we have to do is grab this throw it in the bag and we can we will have uh wi-fi for emergency situations and yes that is huge for us being prepared is huge uh right. you know and, and what the specific area that we had talked about is if we have to seek shelter in our tornado shelter uh, we can go out there if we lose inner you know lose power we can still charge up our phones we can utilize this to use the, the internet to be able to communicate with rescue response if we need it i mean there's just so many ways app different applications you could use this and it'd, it'd come in handy 
Yes. So, um, you know, like I said before, we do need to to let this power down and recharge, and that's the way you reset your battery. And um, so we we are going to go ahead and do that today because, like I said, we've been using this because we wanted to try out the product uh, and let you guys know how it works. And so we're going to do that today, uh, let it power down and recharge it. But yes, um, you guys, this is game changer for us here. Yes, it is on the homestead, especially when you know when you live kind of far out where you know the um, normal cell cell services can't reach you or they can reach you but it's very very spotty we also we have um, <clears throat> different subscriptions on tv like we have hulu and peacock and those types of things we don't watch a whole lot of tv but when the grandkids are here or even the kids are here um sometimes if we we have to leave we have uh farm setters come and uh which is usually our kids yeah. and you know they're not about living without tv yeah. <laughs> but we do watch some tv um with our old home service we would be watching a tv and then it would just say lost signal and it would just get so aggravating and that modem was sitting directly beside the tv yes directly beside the tv and we would lose signal and so we um this one's not even in the same room it's yeah. not even in the same room now and we can run tv uh we had grandbabies here yesterday i ran youtube um grizzly and lemming so i ran those cartoons probably for I don't know, three or four hours. Not that she was watching it. She was, it was just in the background. Uh, she was playing, but still. Uh, and then and then at nap time, I put on uh, Little House on the Prairie. So yeah. then that way we could chill out and, and you know, the, the kids could go to sleep. But um, And then during that time, Rachel can still be on her phone, mm -hmm. utilizing the internet. Uh, like we said, the modem was... Is, used to be right beside the TV. We have it in a different room now. Mm -hmm. uh, used to be if you go to the other end of the house, you might have Wi-Fi, you might not. Uh, it just wasn't a real powerful modem. This one, we don't have a huge house. If you guys have been following along, you know that we're in a fairly small home. But we have Wi-Fi in our entire home. I have been outside the house, been able to connect to the Wi-Fi just out of curiosity to see how far this will reach. And it reaches out into the yard. Uh, the other application Rachel and I have talked about is we'll put it in the truck with us and when we're going out to the pasture. Yeah, that way if we, hey, we let's go live real quick. You know, see something really cool. We want to go live. We have the Wi-Fi right there. Boom. We're ready to rock. And, and we're not depending on data that, you, as you guys know, can be very spotty. When we first moved out here before we had home internet, we were using our data to go live. And there was only certain places on the farm that like we would have to sit out on the front porch or we would, you know, the living room was eh, iffy. The kitchen was, we would lose signal. We did a um, podcast from the backyard. Yeah, we did a podcast. <laughs> it was an inadvertent <clears throat> po podcast because we were, uh, we lost, like y'all couldn't see us, but y'all could hear well, we us. We lost the video, but we had audio. And with this, uh, well, with our home, with our home internet that we had before, we were able to go live a little bit easier, a little bit better, but it was still kind of questionable where we were. Uh, with this, we have not had any issues. We've gone live twice. Yes. Um, once on Robertson's Belly Acres for Monday Night Live, and then this morning we went, we went live on uh, Belly Acres Kitchen. And that's another thing I wanna point out. We are shooting this video today. You guys are seeing it today. So just know that it is, recorded today edited which there's not much editing because we're just sitting here chit-chatting but edited and then uploaded, uploaded today. today and you guys will have it within another within a couple of hours and just what, just out of curiosity what time is it right now it's 108 108 p.m and that just gives you guys a time stamp to know when this video drops how long it actually took us to get editing uploaded and published yeah, which used to, there would have been no way we could have done this before we had Nomad. Right. None whatsoever. There were times it would get so aggravating, even with home internet, that we would start to, up. we would, it would say it was uploaded. And sometimes it was uploaded all the way to like 89%. And it would be like, ooh, it's uploaded 89%. And then all of a sudden it would just glitch. And then it would say, uh, preparing. It would start it all could start the way over. completely over. And and it would do that two or three times and we would delete the upload and start uploading again. 
and it got to where we were just putting a video to upload before we went to bed and hoping for the best. Yes, hoping that it was up that it was uploaded by the time we got up. And like I said earlier, anywhere from eight to twelve hours is the norm on our old Wi Fi. Yeah. And this uh you guys can see in that video that we were getting this we were I mean, we're able to get things uploaded a lot faster. Yes. So um yeah. Uh, Nomad is going to offer a discount, so <clears throat> we are going to put the link below, uh, and there is a discount in there as well. So just follow the instructions and the links for that, so that you guys can uh, look into this and and you know get your own Nomad internet because it is yes, it, and this it lives up to the hype. <laughs> yes, this is the the travel awesome. travel series. They do make a home series that doesn't come with a battery pack and a travel bag. But you guys, this is what they offered to us because of our our lifestyle and the way we're on the move. This really fits us. Yes. But yeah, go check out the link below. Go check it out and see what Nomad has to offer you. Yes, absolutely. So um, anyway, you guys, I know it's a little bit of a different video today, but we did want to get um, the word out there on Nomad. So. Yes. I hope you guys like our videos. If you do, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yep, share with your friends. Leave us some comments, you guys. Let us know what you think about Nomad. If you have it, if you've checked it out, if you haven't. But if you haven't, go check out the link below. But most of all, don't forget to smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes out. Yep, until next time, you guys. God bless. See ya.